artificial intelligence chip startup Cerebrus Systems Incorporated is making bold claims about its ability to rival NVIDIA Corporation in powering AI workloads. But can they deliver? Cerebrus announced groundbreaking achievements in molecular dynamic simulations and sparse training, potentially revolutionizing materials research and making powerful large language models more accessible. But how exactly did they achieve these breakthroughs? The company partnered with European AI powerhouse Aleph Alpha GmbH to create secure sovereign AI solutions for government agencies, with the German Armed Forces as their first client. This partnership is a significant endorsement for Cerebrus. Why did Aleph Alpha choose Cerebrus over established players like NVIDIA? Cerebrus's flagship product, the WSC3 processor, is built on a 5 nanometer process and boasts over 900,000 compute cores and 44 gigabytes of onboard memory. That's 52 times more cores than a single NVIDIA H100 GPU. How does this translate to real-world performance gains? Cerebras demonstrated the power of its WSE2 chips by performing atomic-scale material simulations at an unprecedented speed, 179 times faster than the world's number one supercomputer, Frontier, which uses 39,000 GPUs. What are the implications of this for material science research? Not limited to traditional AI, Cerebras achieved a 70% parameter reduction when training large language models on its CS3 system. This means companies can build more efficient and cost-effective LLMs. What are some potential applications for these smaller, more powerful models? Aleph Alpha, known for its luminous generative AI models, will be the first European organization to deploy the Cerebrus CS3 platform. This partnership aims to create a new class of compute-efficient, sovereign, and trustworthy AI models for governments and enterprises. Will this partnership be the key to challenging NVIDIA's dominance in the AI chip market? Cerebrus is making waves with its innovative technology and strategic partnerships. Only time will tell if they can truly disrupt the AI landscape and dethrone NVIDIA.